All right, so here we are at the computer and I'm at the anacubic.com website. So yeah, this is basically where we're gonna go to get our software. If we click on the software icon here, here we're gonna click on the FDM slicer and it's gonna prompt us to download for Mac or Windows. So depending on what you have, you'll choose either one. So I have Mac, so I'm gonna click on Mac. And it's gonna prompt to save. So after that, we're gonna get a DMG file, which will open up. So if you're on Mac, you're just gonna grab this and slide it to applications. And as simple as that, it's installed. So if we go to our applications, we can see we have the Anycubic slicer here. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna ask us if for sure, we're gonna yes, open. So here we have a step-by-step -step tells us to go through this. Here you can choose to improve the slicer or not. We're gonna choose our printer, which is the Cobra 3. Click next. So here it asks us the kind of filaments we'll use and everything is checked and we'll click on finish. So simple as that. We have the slicer here, we can see our bill plate. So this looks like a typical slicer. Let's click here on our configuration. Okay, so here we can kind of adjust everything, all of our parameters, we kind of go through them. So we're gonna leave everything the way it is. Here we have the filament tab and then the printer tab. So on the top here, we can see we're in the prepare. We also have Workbench, so if you have an account, you can log in. We also have a 3D photo, so you can upload an image and turn it into a 3D model, looks like, which is quite interesting. So let's throw in some kind of a dual color print here for starters, so we can kind of see how this works. So you guys can kind of see that we do have two different files that combine into one. So here on the side, we have our tools. So the first one here is paint. So let's say the outer shell will be two. And we're gonna click our tool here, circle, sphere, triangle. Okay, so we got smart fill. That could be probably useful. Let's try that. Okay, so we can kind of see it draws a line. Let's just try it here. Okay, so yeah, we can actually paint in what we wanna print. So I would say it's relatively smart. So we can see we got all of our corners or sides painted. So let's say number three would be the X part. So as you can see, you can do the painting, but you do have to kind of try to get all these corners. But this is kind of cool because you can make the different size of whatever color you want or filament you want. But in any case, and so the grayed out white part is actually filament number one. So yeah, it didn't take too long to paint. So if you want to get detailed about it, you can definitely choose, you know, actually to make this more unique, let's do the this face in that color and we'll do the top here on white. So yeah, we got quite a few colors here. Three for this one. We do have four total, but if you did want to add another color, let's see this. Actually, let's do that. So it looks pretty good, I think. But in any case, on the side here, we have all our tools. So this is gonna be to move the model, rotate it, lay on a face, scale it, mirror it, lay out, cut the model in sections, paint on supports, and seam painting. So yeah, quite a lot of options. And you can definitely fine tune it to how you want it. So let's go ahead and well actually here in the print settings, we can see we're on the 0.08. Let's go ahead and go to the normal 0.2 millimeters layer height because the 0.08 is way too fine. And fill densities is about 18% looks like. And supports we definitely don't need. We'll click on none. And we don't need a brim either. That's just gonna make another layer on the first layer around the print to try to hold it down. And we also have a more settings button. Okay, so that just pulls up all our print settings. So we'll leave everything the way it is for now. Should be good. Let's click on slice now. It's telling us that we might need supports, which I disagree. We got a pretty large perch tower over there compared to our cube, but we are changing colors, I guess, pretty often. So here we have all of our information about how much we're gonna use of the each filaments. So the number one is gonna be used the most as it looks like, let's see if we drag this down. All right, so it kind of splits our colors into sections. So that's good, so it evens it out somewhat. But here's the total gram, 68 on the first one, 25 on the second one. And a lot of that is mostly probably into purging and this tower. So yeah, this is, you know, not the most efficient, but if you want color printing, this is the way it works at this point. But yeah, it looks like it says it's gonna take us a total of five hours. The model's only one hour and the whole procedure is four hours changing filaments. So five hours and 23 minutes. Kind of a lot of time for a small cube, but hey, let's go ahead and go with it. So we do have a remote print. Let's see if we can connect to the printer. Okay, so it's installing some kind of plugin. That's successful. Okay, so we do need to log in. But for now, we'll just export it and we'll click on export to local disk. So we're just gonna save it to our computer and it's a G-code file. And here it is. And now we're gonna put it on our thumb drive and print it out on the printer.
And so to go back from here, we're just gonna click Return Editor over here, and we can go back to editing. Now, there is a much simpler way to label your colors instead of, you know, painting them like we did. Let me just throw another cube in, connect them. It's kinda of like here together with this other one. And so if we click over here on Object, you can see we have the first cube, which for some reason is not broke down in two, but this one here has the arrow. If we click it, we can see that we have two pieces. So you can change what, you know, color filament you wanna use for each one instead of, you know, painting it like we did earlier, let's say. So, yeah, that makes it quite simple. So if you have the model already broken up in, let's say, four different pieces, you can just do it from here in the object section.